Hi guys, so uh, welcome again on season. As I said before, we are in Andorra. Um, it's a small, it's a small country just in between Spain and France. It's a really lovely place. People are really nice and friendly. Uh, they love their food. Obviously, you won't find much fish around here because we are surrounded by by lovely mountains and. What can I say? The food was really good, was really prepared with care and love, and that's what I'm just gonna try to transmit to you guys with my next series of recipe. Uh, I really have to apologize again for my time off from season by some technical problem and technical issues, and we are ready now to rock on with a new season of season, as I said. So, guys, thank you very much for uh, your patience and thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Right, so we have our um, our rabbit. This is a wild rabbit I got uh, from the Bucheria market. I uh, divide the animal, you can ask to your butcher to do it, in four parts. We have the legs, we have the carré, we have the filet, and we have offal. That we're going to use in four different ways, just to show you in how many ways you can actually uh, prepare your uh, rabbit or chicken in this case this like technique we use is suitable as well for chickens right so we're gonna take the bone off the the leg it's extremely easy you just run your knife on the bone as you see so basically you get the chance to see the bone itself and you scrape the meat off it as you see in the image, it's extremely easy guys, it's no rocket science at all. And there you go, you just go around it and you take it off. So you have a, a sheet, a map, or uh, a, ma a mat of rabbit <laughs> that we're gonna fill with herbs. Well, you're gonna see it later anyway. You can as well leave the bone in and create a sort of lollipop of of rabbit. This is just honestly a matter of, of presentation. Uh, the color of uh, the rabbit that you see in the image is is due to the fact that it's wild. It's a wild rabbit. I obviously advise you to get wild rabbit but you might find the flavor a bit too strong so it's quite, it's quite intense, it's quite gamey. I like it but it's a peculiar taste. Right, so that's the lollipop we were talking about, and let's start to season our our rabbit. We're gonna, we are going to put inside the rabbit. We're gonna fill the rabbit with some herbs and some and some spices. We have some uh, anise, some uh, fennel seeds and some rosemary and some thyme. We're just gonna finely grate and 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 chop the herbs and the seeds and the spices and we're just gonna put everything inside the legs. Uh, important is to season and to and yeah to season with herbs and to put salt inside the rabbit as well because the salt you will be able to put outside the leg it won't be enough to season perfectly the old piece so there you go as you see in the image and let's go and close our little skewers yeah we'll, we'll uh, our little legs with a skewer as you see you just pierce the outside parts of the of the leg you wrap it and then you pierce the old leg with the same skewer as so is is really easy this 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 technique can be used in many other ways you could even use um a piece of string for example to 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 just close the the rabbit fantastic we're gonna serve this chicken uh see sorry <laughs> this this rabbit uh, with calzots. Calzots are spring onions that are typical of, of this area and their characteristic is to be much sweeter and much uh, and much delicate in general. Uh, is fantastic um, 
vegetable for vegetarians he's brilliant for uh, people as, as me who loves meat and they are the fantastic garnish for a roasted piece of meat because basically what you do you do then you grill them and you make sure you burn them really well outside so they get the lovely smoky flavor about them and then you just finish them in in the oven in theory you should prepare calzots on on the barbecue that would be the best way to eat them but as we know it's not always possible so the grill would be just as good okay let's get everything together in a tray in the oven 200 degrees for 15 minutes after this 15 minutes let the rabbit the meat rest for at least five minutes so all the juices they calm down <laughs> and they set inside the inside the rabbit leg so when you go and slice them you won't have a leg on your chopping board yeah they redistribute alright so you have your skewer you have your calzots and a sliced a, li a sliced leg of rabbit and that's it is this as we saw like this technique could be used for chicken for uh, for more kind of meat I just wanted to show you how easy it is to feel and give more flavor to something a bit plain as a rabbit leg thank you very much guys welcome to season